So, for uh, those that don't know, I started working on my first real game. Uh, no, no game. Work, working, no, no, no. Let me. Oh, no, let, sorry, no, it isn't. Is it? D- d- no, I'm no, apologies. no. I jumped the gun. There. Yeah, you did jump the gun because we gonna respect Lee's out here. All right, Lee's lady decided that she was going to help this poor, poor boy who, who, who struggles with logic to do to, to really get out there and show the people what he could do. So I'm going to give you a nice little little walkthrough real quick of what I've been working on. Welcome to working title recipe for depression. Um, might or might not change that title. But this, is bas- but this is basically the story of uh, someone basically dealing with depression and not being able to leave their apartment. So it is deep. It's, it, it's, it's going to have a lot of writing. It's going to have a lot of things, uh, you know, audio entries for diaries. There's going to be this, and it transitions like that because it's going into a... Uh, because it's going into a, uh, a cinematic of what the outside world looks like, which is full of color and kind of mocking. And, but it's, I plan on it being funny. And uh, then we have like answering machine messages. Uh, the plan is to create a short like text-based RPG for the computer. Um, and I told y'all, I told y'all before, that I love movies. So like, I really wanted to make something based around that, which is like the one location film that I always talk about being awesome. So you have the bathroom. We're going to have can animations as well as audio stuff going on. The, I, look, the game wouldn't happen without you, Lees. So I've, I did just about everything I could do here, but but you are coming in and actually making the system, making the system work. So, yeah, there's all types of things. Like, this is the stuff that I got through before uh, Liz came through and broke everything. But there's going to be more of a dialogue key and options that you could go through. Liz, I love you. But you, <laughs> she was like, look, you need to be prepared for people to do. You need to be prepared for people to basically play your game. Like they're trying to ruin your piece of art. She didn't say that, but that's what I took from it. And so uh, there is going to be a poop mechanic. Yay. Like basically there are going to be things like I'm working on procedural animations so that there are things that you can trigger throughout that really delve into the delve into how the main character got here. Like not being able to leave their home and, you know, enjoy life, but being brought down by everything, but the, but will the character stay there? That's where we are right now. Will the character stay there? So I really love this painting, which I got from the Dreamiverse, among other things that I got from the Dreamiverse, but I love that this one turned into its own image when you simply flipped it and put it together. Mm -hmm. And it became, yeah, it became something daunting, like something that's like literally haunting the main character. So there'll be things for like audio triggers for cleaning the dishes, making sure everything gets put back together as you structure your life back. Maybe he'll eat this stale ass sandwich that's sitting here. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh God, I walked into the wall because I'm looking at the wrong screen. Anyway, so there's... (laughs) These are all things. This is where I am so far. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to share with people so they see that I am working on my own thing with Lee's. And yeah, I could not ask for a better partner.